Good morning, guys. I am just starting the day at 9.45, and I'm going to take you on a full day of eating keto. Uh, I haven't eaten anything yet, but I am going to stop by. I've just got five or ten minutes, really, for breakfast, so I'm going to stop by um, the gas station to grab something just to hold me over to lunch. I could probably go without, um, without anything, just uh, fast, but I am a little hungry, so let's see if we can find a keto-friendly snack. And um, like I said, I'll take you through the rest of the day. Okay, guys, so here at the gas station, I want to show you what I got. Um, I've got Diet Pepsi. And I've got these roasted and almonds. And there's about four grams of car, no, six grams of carbs in this. Um, I try to eat whole foods as much as possible and eat all natural stuff. But we live in a, a fast-paced world, and sometimes you have to get things on the go. And so uh, that's going to be a part of this. This uh, series is not a make everything at home and pack it and do everything perfect. Uh, but when in a tight space, you know, that's, that's my go-to snack is almonds, uh, pecans, walnuts, macadamia nuts, anything that's going to be high in fat and uh, low in carbs is going to be good for you. I'm discounting the net carbs because uh, fiber is um, going to just go right through you. And I know there's some discrepancy out there, but this is what's working for me. Um, just a little update. I got on the scale this morning, and the last couple weeks I've been 183, and I was 179.0. So maybe if I peed again, I could have been in the 178. So... Lowest I've been was 175, 174, and that was a couple months ago before the holidays. So I've seen about a five pound shift in the last week. So I'm pretty happy about that. I really think the fat bombs are helping um, just to get my fat up over 70%, uh, sometimes 80%. So, anyway, so that's an update. Okay, guys, so this is how you eat keto wings. We'll ditch the carrots and ranch. Pepsi Max. Okay, guys, stop for a little um, pre workout snack. We're gonna go ahead and go with the monster. So let's go get our workout. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you now what I'm having for dinner. Just got back from my workout, and uh, workout went great. I uh, did back. Uh, did a lot of lifting, so today I'm having steak for dinner with some Kerrygold butter on there. Uh, also Kerrygold butter in the pan, and we're going to add some eggs here in just a second. And then later on, we're going to have a fat bomb. Okay guys, so here we go, steak and eggs um, with lots of Kerrygold butter. So, Okay guys, that's the fat bomb. I'm gonna put some whipped cream on there. And that is the fat bomb I've been telling you guys about that I have at night. Uh, and that'll close out my eating for the day. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and put my macros right here for the day so that you can see exactly uh, how my totals come out. Um, you'll see my uh, carbs, my protein, and my fats, and uh, I just got to say, this fat bomb is so delicious. Mm. 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 Guys, guys, you don't even know. It's not that hard to eat keto when you can have stuff like this. This is about three carbs total for the day. Fills my sweet tooth. I've lost so much weight this last week eating these at night and staying within my macro. So, anyways, full day of eating keto, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, keep it keto, my friends.